The balance changes are announced for 2019 and they will hit the shelves on January the 7th. This means a maintenance break. And with a maintenance break comes new war mode. Finally, there's no more rage, no more touchdown. So for 1v1, we're going to get classic decks, draft challenge, and triple elixir. And for 2v2, we'll have draft and normal mode. The old heal used to heal 176 health per second over 2.5 seconds. This resulted in 440 hit point regeneration on units. There are a total of 5 pulses over 5 seconds, each pulse healing 88 health. The new heal will heal 65 health over 2 seconds. This results in 130 hit point regeneration on units. There are now a total of 4 pulses over 2 seconds, each pulse healing 32.5 health. The reasoning behind this rework is that it's hard to fit heal with any larger spell like rocket, fireball, poison, or lightning. So by reducing heal to one elixir, it'll be more appealing to the hog rider, miner, or even the goblin barrel cycle decks. Don't freak out though. Supercell has thought long and hard about this and made sure not to counter three musketeers. The new heal only heals 130 health. You can still fireball and zap three musketeers even with the heal. They've gone too far with the magic archer nerf and they've acknowledged it. They're going to buff his first attack to shoot 0.3 seconds faster. To put this into perspective, what this means when the magic archer first came out, his first attack could shoot out in 0.4 seconds. Then they nerfed it down to 0.9 seconds, which apparently feels like an eternity. So they're meeting in the middle and now his first attack shoots at 0.6 seconds. The Goblin Giant is one of the least used win conditions in the game. He costs 6 elixir. It's a big commitment for something that has less health than a real giant. So they're increasing his health by 3%. At tournament standard, this is increasing from 2540 to 2616. Another thing that the Goblin Giant is getting is that the Spear Goblins in his backpack can now shoot 0.5 tiles further. This is exclusive to the Spear Goblins sitting in the backpack and does not buff regular Spear Goblins nor the Spear Goblins that jump out of his backpack. The Golem is seeing some nerfs. <laughs> well, its babies are. The Death Pushback is being reduced from 1.8 tiles to 0.9 tiles. The Knockback won't be so dramatic when you kill the Golemites. Supercell done goofed with the free spell when they added spell damage to it. They forgot to ensure it only deals 35% crown tower damage to be consistent with Zap, Fireball, Lightning, and all of the other spells. Sparky's been neglected far too long. She was a trash can on wheels. Now she's a trash can on wheels that can outrange the Electro Wizard. They're buffing the range by 0.25 tiles. This will be represented as 4.7 tiles in her profile card until the next client update, which we'll see around the end of March. The Battle Ram has been way too dominant especially in three musketeer decks functioning as a tank and a lightning rod. They want the hog rider to dominate, so they're nerfing its damage from 247 to 220. This conveniently makes its damage consistent with the ram rider. The Barbarian Hut has remained unchanged for years. Whenever it does come back into the meta, it becomes a top card because of its impenetrable defense, helping it boost insane win rates. They're toning down this card to oblivion, nerfing its health by 7%. That's 132 less hit points. Any slight hits on that Barb Hut can potentially cause one less wave to spawn now. So the Barbarian Barrel got buffed and buffed and buffed, then nerfed, and that still wasn't enough. They're toning it down a slight bit and reverting half of the buff by meeting halfway with its spawn time, reducing it by 0.15 seconds. It's still gonna get two shots in the tower. After buffing and nerfing and buffing and nerfing the Valkyrie for the past three years, they overdid the last one and the Valkyrie fell down. This was really evident when people didn't use the Valkyrie even though the 3M meta was really rampant. They're increasing her attack speed by 0.1 second. This is still not enough to completely counter the Goblin Barrel. Wait, 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 wait. So heal pulse regenerates 32.5 health. What? Hit points in the game aren't 0.5 seconds. Let me consult an expert. All right, so Espeon says, as far as I know, stats for level nine rares are calculated by multiplying an integer by 1.76 and rounding it to the nearest lower integer. If that's also the case here, heal will deal 19 times 1.76, which is gonna be 33 damage per tick, which means heal is actually gonna heal 132 hit points. Super Cell!